Hello everybody, Bolt Matrix here, and today we are taking a look at Zoids Wild Scorpier, or Scorper, or Scorpear. I'm not exactly sure on the pronunciation. It's S-C-O-R-P-E-A-R. But we will find out what the pronunciation is when the show premieres. I bought this figure over at Hobby Link Japan. It is currently available for just under 10 bucks, but shipping varies. The box is pretty darn small, but you get some nice detailing and pictures here on the back. And yeah, um, I think the only thing I've got to complain about regarding the box or anything is, well, this Zoid is going to be the main Zoid for one of the main characters. So why aren't the characters from the show on the front of the box? Just a weird inconsistency that bugs me. So let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Scorpier is very small for a figure. I mean, very small. It's not big at all and is very reminiscent of the original Zoids figures from back in the late 90s, early 2000s. In the box, you don't have runners or parts that you clip off of. It comes in bags like Legos. So the leg assembly comes in one bag and then the bigger pieces all come in another bag. So you you just assemble it like you would a Lego set, but it's a little bit more difficult to assemble than a Lego set. The detailing of the figure is good. I do actually like the little rider there, so if they do sell different riders at a different point, we can actually just put them on. The overall assembly took only about 10 minutes. It was more just fiddling with the smaller pieces because my fingers are ham hands, as you all know, and the overall look of the figure is good. Now, we'll talk about movement in a second, but it does have an attack gimmick that does not have to do with these front claws. It has to do with these back pieces. So you fold up the back stingers and then those fold forward to attack. Unfortunately, they are very short and they could use maybe one more joint here to get ahead or sting ahead of the actual Zoid. This major stinger piece back here doesn't move. And that's unfortunate. I would have liked it too, but Eh, not much you could do about it. The pieces do have a tendency to come off very easily when you turn them. So if you do get this figure, just be aware of that. But everything goes back on very easily. So I'm thankful for that. This is one of those figures, though, that I would not give to my son, simply because there are some pointy bits that I do worry about. And, quite frankly, he'd break it. Okay, now let's talk about movement. Movement is handled by spinning this gear that ratchets up. So then we have this piece back here that looks like a gun is actually the turning get bit to actually spin it up. I do appreciate that you can store the little piece here that spins the whole unit up on the back. It takes quite a few turns though to get it spun up and then we'll let her go. And look at this, look at this blazing speed. It's also really loud. I know that's not picking up on the microphone, but it's pretty loud. It also doesn't go very far. That was maybe eight inches of travel. Eh, maybe 10, even though it is pretty small. And let me grab a Prime Master here so you can see the height that I'm talking about. All right, well, there's a Prime Master. Let me grab a Legends class Transformer here. We use Cindersaur since that one is easily grabbable for me. So the height is just a little bit taller than a Legends class Transformer at the top of the tail. At the end of the day, Scorpier is just okay. I would save your money and go for one of the larger sets as opposed to this guy, unless you really want to get all of the smaller ones as well. As you can see, you can have some fun with the little clear pilot, and you can also paint the pilot to whatever paint scheme you would like. Unfortunately, Scorpier can barely even hold a Prime Master, and not that well, all honesty. Let me know what you think of the... So folks, let me know what you think of the figure down in the comments. Hit that like and subscribe button, and be sure to ring the bell so you know when a new video is up. As always, I am Bolt Matrix, and I will catch you next time.